I make no promises whatsoever. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Sin Shop Project stream. I am, of course, the Mighty Pong. And no one heard him. <laughs> As stated previously. Why? There you are. There you go. Well, you the have thing one job. Oh, yeah. Among uh, many, many other jobs. Uh, uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. Just one job, huh? So, uh, yeah, uh, we are going to be working today on a couple of different projects. I, myself, am going to be getting all the parts together for a 909, N-E-I-N, O-H-N-I-E-N, -E uh, kick module for the stuff over here. Uh, for, uh, for starters, I'm going to be getting my parts list. I got my parts list pulled up on the, uh, computer back here and I'm going to be sorting all those out. Uh, Crux, you have something on the agenda for today as well, right? Yeah. So right now my camera is on two boxes and just barely precariously balanced there because the camera stand was high enough for the GoPro I was using. But the new camera, which doesn't have any, uh, you know, it, it's just fixed in there. It doesn't actually have the ability to whatnot. So it's it's a lot shorter profile. So I need to essentially make a, a gimbling mechanism uh, for this camera that will also make it at the right height it should be. And then I don't have to have these stupid boxes here. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, I'll, uh, I'm will i going to go ahead and flip over to the local camera and shimmy on over. Uh, of course, we will be watching the chat, so if anybody has any questions for us, anything like that, uh, feel free to tap us on the shoulder and say, hey, I have a question. And we will, we will probably not see it until much later, and then we will answer it. All right, here we go. Well, I, have, I have the chat up on uh, one of my monitors here, so... Awesome. Oh, hey, that reminds me. I wanted to show off something here that I made a long time ago. This, if anybody like me uses the Kallax stuff from Ikea, I have in my grubby little paws the answer to your small workshop dreams. See this thing? Kind of like a submarine, kind of like a fish and whatnot. These things will clip on to any Kallax and you know they kind of like shushed in here like that, and they actually lock into place so that you can't pull them out. And that is what I will be working on top of here. I should, I, you know, what I should do. I should get the uh, uh, the cut file for that and make it available to our to our fine viewers. Yeah. Yeah. Because if anybody, yeah, I'm a big fan of a lot of the things I make. I'll make the release file the files of public and available for people so absolutely all right so let's see first of all let's... except when i forget oh. except when I forget. <laughs> awesome all right so this is the guy that we are ultimately going to be assembling now the problem is this board was actually discontinued earlier this year and part of the reason that that is the case is because a lot of these chips on here were hard to find uh i do I think I managed to find them all, and that's part of what tonight's going to be about. But uh, yeah, there's a there's a few there's a few things on there we're going to have to find slash solder slash whatnot. So I I don't know if I fully expect to get to this tonight. Um, I don't know if it's going to be just getting the parts together, or if I'm actually going to be able to start putting putting components down. We shall see. So I'm going to throw that in the bin right there. And over here, I have my handy-dandy list of things, and I am going to get cracking. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Well, actually, two things. Number one, if you were trying to buy uh, 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 diodes recently, I'm sorry. I had, a, uh, <laughs> I had a night or two where I was like, oh, I can't find this certain diode. But it's like a super common one in, in uh, sorry, 1N4148. And for some stupid reason, I bought like several hundred of them. I don't know why, but at any rate, because you need several hundred diodes. Uh, apparently, yeah. I don't. I'm pretty sure I don't need several hundred, but yeah. Well, I mean, if you have extra, you can always drop them off on the electronics bench at Sin Shop, and we'll that find is a, a home for them. So, have you seen these? 
You probably have. Um, I have. Yeah. I've not used them, but. So I got turned on to these. It was, they were on a, uh, I think, an Adafruit stream, if I remember right. But um, these are just pretty awesome. And I use these for a lot of my part storage stuff. If I can pull that off of there, that would be groovy. Let's see if I can do it without breaking things. Again, I promise nothing. Nope, going the wrong way. There it is. Ha ha. But they're pretty cool because they like snap together and they got these little little flip up lids. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Oh, that's neat that the lids are actually like spring loaded. Yeah. Bloop. Pretty awesome. And then they just kind of snap together. But it's pretty it's pretty cool because I've got like all my resistors up here yep and so I've got those all sorted accordingly all right anyway moving on okay so uh, do do throw this over here actually I'm gonna keep keep one of these over here I think what I'll I'm have to do... send you uh, my friend Alvaro's uh, storage system. It's it's pretty next level, actually. Oh yeah. He has a, uh, a complete system of like barcoding and inventorying, and and uh, uh, he keeps all his parts in in bags. But he will he has his own bags, and and will print his own labels. Uh, for, for storing things and you can just scan things in as you get it so it's really focused on electronics projects yeah because that's what he does yeah um but it, it's it's a pretty cool setup nice so whenever you are starting a project is is this kind of the same sort of path that you take as well is it like uh you know i'm gonna uh you know, get all my parts out, make sure I've got everything first, or, or do you just kind of jump right in and start soldering? Depends. Uh, so, you know, a lot of times I'm starting out with uh, initial prototype that might not actually be soldering things, or it might be I have these breakout boards for the various parts and we'll wire them together to make sure that, that functionally what I want is going to work. Mm-hmm. Um, but occasionally I don't have breakout boards and I just have to go straight to designing a board. And so I'll design the board and, and have the, uh, the parts specified. Oh, okay. Um, and then when it comes to actually, you know, soldering it together, you know, I will have the, you know, Mauser and or DigiKey orders that came in with all the parts and yeah. that'll be in a, a box and hopefully I will get to actually soldering it together before those boxes get lost. <laughs> yeah. And then there's some parts that I just have on hand, you know, like, you know, 10 K resistors. I have a slew of, you yeah. know, and, you know, 470 ohm resistors. I have a slew of, you know, um, I might look at what parts I have on hand beforehand, but a lot of times I just, you know, do border them See, uh, that's... just so I have them. Yeah, that's that's the way I the, I went with this. Is I was like, okay, I don't know how many because I've got tons of resistors over here, but I don't know, you know, number one, are they the right quality level? Because this this is an audio kit, and it required like them to be of a certain quality, and so I was like, okay, well, let me just get the, you know, get what they say to get, and then if I happen to need more parts, then I'll probably have them hopefully. But yeah, I yeah, I, it, go ahead. Generally, with resistors, you just have to worry about. One that the wattage is is going to meet whatever your requirements requirements are for current, mm -hmm. and that the um, the actual value is, is within the the percentage tolerance of of what's acceptable. Uh, so, like you can have resistors that you know are like you know fifteen percent tolerance or five percent tolerance or like one percent tolerance, and you pay more for you know ones that are more accurately to the value that you need. And then you can actually even go so far as there's ones that are uh, spec'd out to, it is exactly this amount. Oh, wow. Yeah. That and, sounds pricey. 
Yeah, I actually ended up with a bunch of them just because I bought them in like some surplus thing, mm -hmm. and I've never actually used them for anything because they're all weird values. So, ah, uh, gotcha. And and most of what I use are just you know ten k, one k, you know, four point seven k, four hundred seventy ohms, hundred ohms, etc. So, hmm. I think mine started out with like one of those booklets of of resistors from SparkFun. And it just kind of escalated from there. All right, there's my hundred K. Yeah, a lot. Oh, go ahead. I have I have a bunch of surface mount or not uh, surface uh, through hole stuff that I got from like Tata Electronics, where I just went through all of the common values and, and ordered a pack of each. Oh, nice. And then, um, but a lot of anything I do nowadays is all surface mount. So unless I'm prototyping on like a prototype portable board, I'll, I'll rarely actually break out, you know, actual through hole resistors. Hmm. I found I found through hole used a lot in Eurorack stuff. Well, like, probably because it's easier. It's easy to solder, so therefore, oh yeah, you sure. Know, a lot of a lot of your kits are going to be designed for that. I'm starting to wonder if this is actually the way to go. You know what I should do? I should just make sure I got the right quantity and go from there. Because I think separating them out of the bags beforehand is going to be a recipe for disaster. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't do that. I, I tend I like to keep them in the bag because the bag has a good label of what it is. So I was, yeah, I was labeling it myself, uh, like putting like 330 on there for the 330 ohm, but... Mm, I started looking at everything. I'm like, you know, I'm going to be doing the same work twice, and that's a silly thing to do. So I'm going to not do that. Yeah, another thing I'll do is when I order parts is I'll actually make sure. I I will rarely order, like, one or two of a thing. I'm ordering, like, you know, 50 or 100, depending on the price of the component, obviously. So if it's super expensive, then I'm not going to spend out $100 on, on caps for, you know, something I'm only going to use a couple times. but. Mm. Yeah, some of these were kind of silly. Like, I can't remember if these are the ones that were particularly... Like, some of the capacitors, apparently, you can't get anymore. I don't know. Or you had to use a uh, one that was similar. I think that's why the kit got discontinued, is because, uh, like I was saying earlier, you know, they don't, they don't make some of the parts anymore. And I had to, f like, source the chips. Um, what was... What were they? Is it the 4000? I think it was the TL074. It's something that used to be common, but they stopped making it or something. I don't know. But at any rate, I got this this little thing that, that my, uh, my laptop is sitting on. I got these monitor arms years and years and years ago. And if anyone's seen Alita Battle Angel, this monitor arm is actually sitting in the guy's box of parts for robots. Okay. Um, it, I'm not familiar with it. But... Alita Battle Angel? Yeah. Oh, such a good movie. I liked it, at least. I don't know. I think I think it's one of those where some people thought it was garbage. They apparently made two of them. What? No, they didn't. Did they? Well, I don't know. Search was auto-filled with Alita ba Battle Angel 2. What? Oh, I don't think they've done it yet. I think they're... Okay, yeah, because it came out in 2019, so... Yeah, yeah. Man, I really wonder what movies are going to, like, look like. You know, are we going to go back to how movies were? Like, that's going to be a, that's gonna be weird. Yeah, I, I got to wager that, that uh, the, the current situation has put quite a damper on current TV and film productions. It's going to put a damper on everything productions but yeah also that so okay newbie question time here i got the blue ones here right the blue color is that strictly to signify the quality like you know these are one percents right here right no so the percent is going to be one of the stripes right uh the color is probably based on manufacturer oh okay. most likely because so they they opted to make their resistors blue. Because these are metal film, and you know all the ones that I have. I mean that could be. Um, 
you know maybe it's because it's metal film they they opted to make it blue but but that's not a standard thing yeah so those are probably carbon film there in right. the box yeah which are you know, cheaper but most common right so do you get in ruts with with your music equipment because i definitely do like i go drum crazy like out of everything here like most of it is for drums I, I only have the one synthesizer, so. Oh, okay. Well, I mean... by, for, by definition, yes, there's a rut of exactly one device. Well, okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, fair enough. Oh, man, I, oh, I should have made it to where I could pull it up. There's a, an assembly document, right, that came with this. Complete garbage. Total trash. Like... There is almost no good information. It basically tells you where to hook up the knobs for the front, you know, for the front panel, and that's that. The end is. <laughs> that's all you're getting. Uh, J Fat. So it's one. it's kind of like the the how to YouTube video equivalent where they don't actually talk or anything and just fly through stuff and then skip some steps. Oh God. Those are infuriating. Oh man, yeah. Especially like when that's the only thing you can actually find on information on whatever it is that you're trying to find. The freaking worst, yeah. So you mean yeah, like I, I I have like yelled at the computer is like just freaking talk already. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, look, I'm I am certainly not averse to cooking show things, you know, doing several versions and then stopping at certain points, you know, because it just in order to make a video go quicker right so you don't have to wait for something to load that's what i did with the mm -hmm. uh with the splitter episode oh yeah we might have news on the splitter episode i may may have fought city hall actually it's funny it's like it's not like i fought the law and the law won well i mean it, it's actually that the law is actually on my side on this i think i haven't looked at have you looked no i Okay. You're the one that's main monitoring that one, sir. So. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fair. All right, well, we'll see. But, you know, I think I just might get to uh, actually putting down some resistors today, at least. I'm kind of excited about, about Friday's show. I mean, the, the thing notwithstanding. Uh, I'm kind of excited. So what are fun. we talking about? So, okay, I've actually met this guy before. He's a he's a, a ugly man. I don't know if you if you've met him in person or not. I'm not. I might have, but it depends on you know people don't go by their handles and yeah, that's true. Person a lot of times. I mean, I do, but that's because everyone knows me as Crux. So. Totally, yeah. Uh, so he used to work at Mackie. So there's I. I Back in the day, I loved Mackie audio stuff because it was just quality. I mean, you could their their mixers were built so strong you could just throw them in the back of a trunk without any case or anything, and they would just they would just take it. They they didn't care. Uh, mm -hmm. The way that they're they're hold on a second, I got I got to show you this because this is this is really cool. This is actually in a piece of their their marketing wank at some point, and uh, and that's what really like maybe say hey they're all right um okay so mo so you know you got your your pots right okay you're right. not going to use a piece of paper or anything you're i don't have a piece permanently of... do it well this is a piece of wood this is a pencil <laughs> so i mean i i, I can okay. erase it you know it's whatever all right it's wood you could sand it down and that too Okay, so you know how you got your 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 uh, uh, your regular standard issue pot, right? And it's got things that are coming off to the side, right? Well, what a lot of uh, uh, audio mixing board manufacturers will do is they'll have these things that come out from the side, right? And they'll have a right. they'll have their main board down here, and they'll have like a daughter board that pokes up like that, right? So that means that this is cantilevered, right? So if something pushes down on your on the knob, that that wears out over time. Now, granted, they put the cap to it fairly close to the faceplate of the mixer, so it doesn't really impact it that much, but enough wiggling back and forth, and eventually this right here is going to break, right? So, well, what... I mean, a lot of the knobs are actually screwed in place, like there's a threaded... Uh, also that, yes. But, but if that screw, you know, if that nut 
rattles off of there because you're sitting in front of a base, you know, a, a, a base speaker stack or, you know, something, you know, whatever, you know, that's added. Uh, flex. Well, not only that, but the front panel will flex a little bit. You know, granted, yes, you've got all the other knobs that are helping to support it, but that's still a relatively weaker design. My point is, what Mackie did is they have theirs go straight down, and they actually have a, a board that goes across like this that's actually supported by something, right? Yeah, well, that's exactly how it is in the core gear, too. Oh, okay. Well, a lot of mixer manufacturers didn't do it like that, which okay. is one of the things that, that made that so awesome and so durable. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Erase this right off there. That's my new chalkboard right there. There's a little little history for you about Mackie mixers. Anyway, so Mackie used to be just the sh uh, They were, in fact, the Tiger's unforsaken roar. Uh, and then in the late 90s, early 2000s, I think it was, uh, they basically got screwed over horribly by Behringer. Um but this guy, Ugly Man, was working for uh, working for Mackie at that time, and he's got some some tales of manufacturing that are just super super interesting. I don't want to, okay. like, yeah, I don't want to spoil it too much, but like like the degree to which Behringer ripped off Mackie is astounding, and he's got a he's got he has the most amazing example of that I have ever heard. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm man. I'm almost out of parts. Well, I I hope that's good. We'll see. Uh, four point seven. Man, have you ever looked into the history of like resistors and the guy that came up with them? I've not. Well, so you know about the. Uh... <laughs> oh boy. So you know about the. Uh... The acronym for resistor color codes that your grandpa knew. Oh, yeah. I, you I, know about that? Yeah. I, yeah. I actually taught that one in my high school <gasps> of all places. That would never fly anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Wow. Wow, you win for the for the worst thing ever heard in school. I, that, that, <laughs> wow, that actually beats mine out. Dang. Um. So yeah, definitely not repeating that here. But uh, but basically, the guy that that you know kind of invented the resistor, he was involved in people that would talk that way. They had a certain club that they referred to by by three letters that were all the same. He was a real piece of work, is what I'm trying to say. Mm. Not a nice guy, but he made resistors, and those make noise eventually. If you wire them together. So I got a question for you, Mr. Guy that knows stuff. Okay. Why is it that if something goes out of, like, basically out of print, like, right, they start, they stop making the CD 4006. Why do they then come out with a, you know, 4006B? Like, what is the difference between the two? And if there's no difference, then why didn't they just continue calling it the 4006 so it could be that they've just made some minor changes like either parts weren't available so it is technically different mm -hmm. like a different revision um you know it could be that on the um you know the original version they they had to have some bodge wires to fix like some problem with the board and mm. so the new version has has fixed those things bodge free okay. yeah so a lot of times it's that a lot of times it's like they've just made minor changes in in the feature set but you know it's not huge on sometimes it, it is actual differences so it hmm. what i'm saying is is it depends on it's a, a gigantic gray area Okay, <laughs> as most things often do. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we need one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
Yes. There we go. Okay. Don't I have a thing for diodes? I have a thing for diodes. I mean, I don't have a thing for diodes, but like, I have a place to put them. Yeah, apparently when I switch camera views, because I switched it back to my camera, mm -hmm. and it's still black on the the stream for me, so I don't know what what it did on your end. Oh, uh, I got nothing from you. Huh? What'd you do? Oh wait, no, I. Well, that's weird. Are you sure you're not sharing a screen? Um, it's not turned on. And I said, and the camera's turned on. Something weird's happening here. Hold on. Like, I can share oh, okay. the screen. I got you back. You're good. Okay. So, while I'm there, now it should be my screen. I see it. Okay, and now it's on the stream. Okay. Yep. I I'm don't not, know what happened. I, th I think it has something to do... Why is there something... Move oh, that's me. Weird. Oh, that's when I was over there. Okay. I think it has something to do with when I was... Oh, uh, I think I was on, like, an alternate account whenever... You know, whenever I put that up full screen, long okay. story. Uh, you know, I could embiggen this if you want. Like here, I'll just do like something like that, maybe. And then maybe move it up a bit to the top corner or something. Uh, so there's nothing active. Really That's, exciting up there. Yeah, nothing nothing right now. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, I got to look around my camera. Sorry. One second. Oh, oh. And we're moving all over the place. There we go. Okay. And nope, wrong button. That's the right button. And embiggened. There you go. Cool. I am so... Stupid thirsty. Here we go. As one thing I did not design for earlier, a place to put a beverage. Okay. I had a had a pencil. There it is. Okay. One in forty one forty eight. There we go. These these if you need a mechanical pencil, these are awesome. Rotring or Rotring. Okay. Not quite sure how they're pronounced. But it's a it's a German brand, I think. Either German or Japanese. But uh, the keen turned me on to those, and they are they are really nice. Like if you need a mechanical pencil, you could do a lot worse than that. Okay, there's those, and then one in nine one four. Oh, well, well shit. What? Uh, huh. So, there was the 1 in 4148 that I needed, but you can also replace it with a 1 in 914. Well, actually, I think, I'm not sure which one is preferred. I thought it was 1 in 914. But basically, TLDR, I've got both. Okay. Well. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I guess what I'm trying likely, to say... Likely doesn't matter. Right, yeah. Yeah, so okay, I'm just going to roll with what I got. Put that over there. 
Okay, what am I missing? Uh, let's see, I have all these guys. That's a big, uh, big 12 on that. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and start these. Because I, I don't have knobs, but who cares? I'm not going to be to that point today. I don't think. So there's uh, two electrolytic capacitors, a 0.33 microfarad, and a 0.47. So if I can find those two guys... the shit how many of these did I have oh this is just voltage regulars okay this is probably for something completely different oh but what's this 0.1 microfarad I've got so many flipping diodes now it's like you can't have any diodes okay now I have all the diodes I don't know how familiar you are with uh, fusion. One of the problems I, I first ran into is when you first start drawing in fusion, you just mm -hmm. put everything all in the base like yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. And you have to quickly learn that, that, oh, hey, I need to break these things out and uh, like start assigning variables and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, variables were a game changer, man. And what the biggest thing for me, I'm sure you've heard me say this before, but the biggest thing for me when it comes to uh, uh, anything in Fusion 360 is you have to remember that you're not designing the thing, you're telling Fusion 360 how to design the thing later. Yeah. And, and once you get that through your head, it's smooth sailing from there. Capacitors I had had a bunch of capacitors laying around somewhere. Is it these? I mean, it does say capacitors on it, you know. Oh, oh. I bought a shitload of them. There they are. Yeah. Fuck. Excuse me. <clears throat> I, was, I was frightened. Okay. I scare easily. have you know i don't think i've sworn once on the show yet oh yeah yeah no I, i've had a good run for a while now but no i thought something was falling down is what that was yeah. oh yeah 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 i remember now yeah that was the whole reason i bought this this kit in the first place because it has no Point three three microfarad. Point. Well, poop. Point noparino. Dot gfy dot com. Okay. What's the other one I need? Point four seven. Those we do have. We got point four seven. Point four seven. There you are. I'm gonna throw that in here with the diode. Is that a good idea? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Later on, when I'm like, I can't find that capacitor, it's in with the diodes. There's my dog. She says hi. Point three three is not appearing in this box. Okay. Excited dog. I 
but yeah, using variables inside of uh, inside of that is definitely the way to go. I got a little screwed up on on using them when I did my bed. Like you remember why I did my bed frame? Right. Yeah, I got a little screwed up on those because it's like it was so complex, like with all the different you know joints and places where wood could fit. I like I went I went pretty hard on on the variable thing, and then later on like. I think because of all the fillets and all the, uh, or fillets rather, fillets, and the, uh, what else was it? It was the fillets and the, uh, oh, just all the notches that were cut out. It made the geometry really freaking weird is, is the TLDR on that. I just don't have a .33. This is this is looking bad. Well, not bad. I mean, it's one freaking capacitor. That's not gonna stop the show. Sure, it's grinding it to a halt though. That's a That's definitely not it. What a weird number. 117 microfarads? Or nanofarads? 117? Yeah. That's... It's so, probably 120. Yeah, that would make more sense. Which is still not that standard of a value, but it's more standard. Mm-hmm. Regurgulous, it's still not uh, 0.33, so I guess I'm going to have to order that. Balls. Yeah, so I mean, 120 is probably within the uh, percentage of error. Or 117 is within the percentage of error of 120. Probably. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. I was trying to put all that together, like, wait a minute, what now? Uh, either I have a box full of random capacitors, which would not surprise me. Oh, hey, look, a box of random capacitors. Yeah, if it ain't in here, I really don't need it. I really shouldn't have said that. What was I thinking? It's not... <laughs> <laughs> Diddly, it's not in here. I mean, you can solder up what you have and then order. Yeah, yeah, I know. What you need. It's a capacitor too, so it's not like it's gonna, you know, it's a resistor that's underneath a freaking, you know. I've got some kits where they had, they have one thing that you have to solder to the bottom and another thing that you solder to the top. Oh, mm -hmm. what is this guy? Oh boy. That is not at all helpful. Okay. Is there a number on it? There is, but uh, I'm, uh, like they say, uh, old. The uh, stereo microscope is great for that. It is. It is. My mono microscope is also great, but it requires a USB connection, which I have one of on that side of the room. And so I am going to do this the old fashioned way and take a picture, maybe. Focus you. All right now that I've undid everything I did before, but now I actually have the variables. 
I think it's a cylinder, but more, a better defined cylinder. That's what I look for. A well defined cylinder. That's what, that's what, that's what wait, makes me want to wake up in the morning. That cylinder right there is well defined. All right, let's see if I can zoom in that close. Oh, oh, I can well, yeah. I'm going to say that looks like a BC-104. That good old BC-104. Uh, you know it and you love it. Uh, so, uh, 104. The first is the figure of value. So, it's a one second figure of value and the multiplier. So, 104 would be a... 1,000, but I don't know what that is. Either way, it's not a 0.33, so. So, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. All right, well. Close enough for government work. I got one that I need to order. And we move forward. I can't believe it wasn't in this box. Like, I got, I think I got this box just strictly because it had all the things. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Because 33... Mike. No. Yeah, 33 microfarads would be more of the other one. <laughs> yes. 33 nanofarads? Is that right? Well, zero point whatever, whatever. Uh, it's essentially, so if you look at that Wikipedia article. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That explains what the difference is between oh, the two. Oh, look at this guy. The three. He just told me to RTFM. So I'm a roll. Micro is one millionth, and nano is one billionth. So, and you know, pico is one trillionth. Oh wait, micro is the biggest one. Oh, that's what you said earlier, isn't it? So. So what value do you need in nanofarad? 0.33 microfarad is what I need. Okay. Then that will probably be a positive value in nanofarad. Of 33? Of like three, 330 or something. Oh, 330. Oh, okay. Or, so or well, if you, I usually just go to Google and do, Oh, yeah. Know, I guess I could do that. Micro too. to nano. And... If you came to learn how to do this stuff, you've come to the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, no, I was... Uh, no, no, I was wrong. Okay, so one, two, three places. So 0.33 would, yeah, like you were saying, it would be uh, yeah. 330. Okay, so 330 hey, nanofarads. You go to your, your handy dandy conversion chart, and that does the math of. Multiplying or dividing by a thousand for you. Oh right, yeah, yeah. I need to. I need to load one of those. So point three three microfarad is three hundred thirty nanofarad, or three hundred thirty thousand. Picofarad? Does my screen just go went black? Uh, it looks good on this end. Yeah. Oh, I, no. For some reason, my monitor shut off momentarily. Ah, okay. There's also micro microfarad, which is the same as picofarad. Yeah, that's not confusing at all. People that use that that unit of measurement should be shot, drawn, <laughs> yes. and then quarter. Yes, and then should. shot again. Yep. Yep. I'm in favor of this. I don't really like the death penalty, but, you know, in that case, I'll make an exception. Okay. So. 
Well, either way, I need then I would need 330 nanofarad, and I do not have that in this box. So that sucks. And this is 33 microfarad, so you are not it. All right. Well, as noted previously, balls. Oh wait, I wonder if. I wonder if, okay, now that I know what I'm looking for, what am I looking for? 330. No. That's 330, yeah. I need 330 nanofarads. Yep. I'm not getting it out of this one. Damn it. Okay. I gotta see if I have another box of these, you know, box of capacitors laying around, because I sure thought I ordered, like, a whole bunch of them, but... Oh, well. Okay, and you, you just get right out of here. I still don't know where these are supposed to go, but... I'll put those over there for now. Okay, I'm gonna. You know what? Uh, what time do we got? It's 8:45. It's 8:45. Should I start building this? I mean, I could at least like start getting some of it in there. Sure. All right. Why not? No time like the present. Eh. I mean, there's always next week, you know. How's your thing coming along? I have a cylinder. <laughs> Congratulations. Let me see here. Oh, that is a fine looking cylinder you got there, sir. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's looking good. Looking good. Good times. Good times. All right. There's one of these. Man, the Panavices. These are just the best. I am such a fan of these. Yeah, I have a couple. I have one that's set up to do circuit board, like holding circuit boards, and then I have another one that holds uh, locks. Ah, clever. Oh, shit. Of course. Dang it. All of all of my practice locks are at Sin Shop. Mm, yeah. And the pan device to hold said locks is always forgot and left at home. Ah. So the two have never actually met one another, but God, one day. <laughs> but one fine day. So when I get to this point, I'll have to take a like take a closer look, but this is one of the first that I've seen. Yeah. Oh, oh boy, that would have been bad. But uh, it has an optional area here. You see this? got like additional stuff that you can but don't necessarily have to uh put in and it's for like i think a like a noise um well is there one or two optional areas because there's like the dotted so, line thing so this is required for noise and this is optional okay yeah. so if you want noise you fill that in and then if you want the optional noise on top of your regular noise, you fill at the bottom stuff. Apparently, yes. I think it's just okay. like, if you do this, it's going to sound exactly like a 909. If you do this as well, it will sound like a 909 plus a little extra oomph. Okay. What that oomph means exactly, I do not know. But, but there will be extra of it, and it will be very oomph. Oh, damn it. This isn't going to fit in my vice. You see that? You can... S oh, not really. Oh, yeah. You need uh, You need the pan of ice I have. Well, yeah. I almost bought that one at Fry's, and then I was like, I don't know. I don't really work on stuff that, that, that's that big. You know? Although, actually, most of the time, I, I just... 
I have a silicon mat and and I use that because I use the weight of the board to hold the parts in. Mm. See, I need to do that. Oh, I just realized my solder is not in here. I need to go get that. Poop. Boom. Got it. Groovy. Yep. All right. Let me look at the all the documents here. Space for two different types of transistors, the modern BC549s well, It'd be nice if you told me where where that was, mister. Oh, also to make it even more fun, there's one of these that is positioned wrong, basically. Like the uh, one of the transistors is backwards. Oh, on on version 1.0. Oh, which is what I have. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to make my own panel for this, too. BC549. Ah, okay, those are the rare original transistors used. Okay, yeah, I don't got that. It says the rare transistors are backwards on version 1.0 PC boards, which is what I have. Okay, so what I'm thinking is... Ah, okay, so I don't actually have to worry about that. Because what they did, I don't know if you can see it that well. If you want to see this, basically what they did is, let me find something else to point with there. Here we go. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. This guy right here is the rare one, 
and that's what's backwards. Okay. So since I've got the newer ones, I'll just be putting it there. You're hiding it with the uh, my screen. So just move it towards you about two inches. Something like that? There we go. Yeah, so that's the rare one right there. And that's the one that needs to be flipped. It looks like, according to the documents, yeah, it look, according to the documents, the, these are fine. So they just need to be like that, basically. So it's an either or, not a both. So okay. there won't be anything here. Those are just hooked together. And now you know. Oh, yeah, because it looks like they had different pinouts. You know, the, the transistors had different configurations between the old school one and, and the new one, the one that's available now. I mean, if I knew this was going to work, I have a 909 over there. I could just get the transistors out of it. Yeah. I am definitely not going to do that. Yeah, do not recommend. Yeah, no, that's a terrible idea. All right. Oh, yeah. So I need to go and grab uh, the solder and all that stuff. So I will be right back. So what I am doing right now is... The uh, camera mount has uh, fingers that uh, will interlock, so I'm laying out the fingers on the bottom piece and then I'll then make a top piece that, that fits into that. That's pretty cool. You got 3D print this? Yeah, or just, you know, find the part I need actually on Amazon and order it for ten bucks. Uh, <laughs> well, if that's an option, why are you why are you modeling it? Uh you're better at fusion. Oh, oh, okay. Or, or maybe maybe there's something about the design I like better. Uh, so. gotcha. All right, here's one of them. Some of this. Yeah, like the the mount I was using for my GoPro, um, I still had to modify it. Like they you physically couldn't get the fingers together because the the allowance was not quite right. So I had to spend like Mm. a good hour with a file to get it down to the right size. But. That, sounds, that sounds gross. Oh, you know what? I don't actually need that on yet. I need to place everything first. All right. Well, let's, let's do this. All right, so let's see. Let's do uh, let's do 100 Ks. I got a bunch of them. Uh, you know, I got a bunch of 22s as well. Let's do hundreds. Yeah, let's do hundreds. Hmm. 
wonder if 100 case is one of the ones that I actually did take out of the bag. I think it is. Yeah, there they are. Yeah. 100 case. And I don't know where the little. Oh, there it is. I don't think I actually need it. It's actually showing up on the... Eh, it's kind of visible, but not very. I'm going to do something more like... You know, actually, I do need to flip this around. Yeah, I'll flip it around. Oh, come on. <laughs> this freaking resistor keeps one to tombstone. There we go. You're not a service mount. Get down there. So did you used to do, like, music stuff professionally? Like, how'd you come and do No. I don't know how to play at all. Oh. How'd you get the Korg, then? Uh, so back when I was in high school, my dad was a musician and he, uh, gave me a Korg Poly 6. Um, ah, okay. And then when I went in the military, I didn't have space for it and sold it off. And then my dad since had passed away hmm. uh you know a bit after i was out of the military and and working in the real career force and i wanted to get the uh keyboard again just because it has sentimental value and and you know i like analog sense because they're mm -hmm. fun to play with yeah so so is that so that's the this is not the original one, but it oh, okay. is, you know. It's the same model. Same model. Yeah, okay, I gotcha. Like, sentimental value type of deal. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Was your dad in a band? Yeah, he, he always played in, like, bar bands and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Um, he used to be in the Detroit Symphony Orchestra as well. Oh, wow. Um, and then stopped doing that and... was i think making his money as, as you know playing in a band for a while and then i think he eventually stopped doing that and was like a building hvac like tech guy like the guy that made all the computers that ran the system work etc so. oh nice Well, 
sounds cool. I forgot who makes this. I think it's the I think it's Hex Inverter. I'm not sure. It's the name of the company that makes this thing, or used to make it. idea what's going on on the back side of this thing. Let's stay out. I really do want to look. Hey YouTube. I'm not going to do it right now. We should totally do shirts. Just as an aside, just occurred to me. I mean, we do have this in shop shirt design. I mean, and you know, if you shop at the shop, you can actually. You can buy them. Yeah, but if somebody's, you know, watching us. But if someone wants them online, you know, we probably should have some online sales of them. That that's, what, that's where cool. I'm going. Yep. That's what we should have. We need more of them, too. Shows up to me. Does it show up on? Oh, that's terrible. That's an awful view. Is that better? Kinda. I need like an over-the-shoulder camera holder. I put this on? Oh, I really hope I didn't start doing these backwards, did I? I'm going to say no. No, no, I'm good. Okay, cool. Because I try to always position one... Like, I always try to position the, them with the same orientation. Right, because if you don't, then, you know, 
everyone will laugh at you. And... Yeah, I mean, that's so fun. I mean, sometimes it is. I don't mind being the rodeo clown sometimes, but but not this time. Not when it comes to electronics, you know. We have standards. I don't know if I'm going to go much past a, past the hundred Ks. I don't know. We'll see. Might save the rest for next week. Call for chicken. She is a growing. Do you ever completely forget to eat? Oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah. That's me right now. All right, now I have the uh, base part modeled. Oh, wait, hold up. I want to check it out. Once that will pop down. Yes, it will. Good. All right. Oh, damn. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, so there's a uh, space for a threaded insert down there. Here, hold on. Let me let me embiggen you. Come on. Oh, my God. Will you please select the thing? Select the thing. There we go. Thing is selected. Beginning procedure starting now. And beginning is complete. Okay. That's cool. So did you get that, right. the, the spacing for those? Did you get it from the, like, taking measurements, or is that a standard size? Um, so, yeah, I just, I took measurements of the, the uh, existing GoPro mm -hmm. thing. So I'm just kind of using that as a base for the design, but for my camera so this is like one half of it and then the other half will sit on top so i'm going to use a threaded insert i have which will go down in there mm -hmm. and then which are actually the same threaded inserts i used on the chair rail at zin shop oh okay because i ordered a lot because i needed i needed like just over half of what a package was <laughs> oh wow okay are they quarter 20s yeah, quarter twenty. Nice. So, and then these are like the the fingers, and then the corresponding bit will have two fingers that go in there. And the design I did actually has spacing in there to you know account for stuff having to actually go uh, you know finger together versus the camera mount I had bought. Mm. So now I have to design the other part and print it and see if it see if it actually works and does what I want. Nice. Do you have a printer at home or? Yeah, I have a, I have a Flash Forge 3D printer, which is loud and annoying. So that's why it lives upstairs. Ah, gotcha. Because I used to listen to it print for like hours on end if I was doing a large job. And then uh, the other day I was doing a bunch of printing. I was like, you know what? I'm tired of actually hearing this. <laughs> so mm -hmm. so yeah. I moved it upstairs and then I moved a, one of my cameras on it so I can actually just tune into it and watch it print. See, or I see that it's still printing. Yeah, yeah. I got to that same point with my old... Uh... DeWalt, not DeWalt, <laughs> what am I saying, Dremel, there you go, my Dremel uh, 3D printer, but yeah, I used to keep that in my bedroom, and oh my god, I was like, yeah, no, I'll just, I'll just fall asleep with that on, yeah, no big deal, yeah. whatever, mm -hmm. well, it's not so bad when it's downstairs and the bedroom is upstairs, but, yeah, no, this is actually like, you know, three feet away from me as I was trying to sleep. That's the last time I did that. Yeah, I got rid of that. So now now the step I have to do oh, yeah. is 
remember to actually select one to create a new component before I start drawing the stuff for the new component and then to actually select said component. Mm. Well, after you make the shape, you can just select the shape there under what is it solids or something like that? And you can you can just say make component or new component or something like that. Yeah, that's what I did. Oh, okay. I just a lot of times I will I'll create the component and then I won't actually select the component, so the base layer will be highlighted, and I'll start drawing sketches. And it's like none of these are in the place that they need to be. And there's a way of moving the stuff, and I have figured it out exactly once. And depending on how complex the thing I'm doing is, mm -hmm. I sometimes will just read it, undo the point of just doing it from scratch again. So. Oh. Or ever to a save. Yeah. Yeah, that is one. That's one nice thing about uh, Fusion 360 is it does a pretty good job of ver versioning. If you remember to hit, you know, give it a couple of Control S's every now and then. But it's pretty good at keeping your versions separate mm -hmm. if you're using the the cloud thingy. I'm a big fan. You know, it, it took a little while to get me off of uh, off of SketchUp. And that's not true. I never really liked SketchUp, but <laughs> but I was used to it. So it took a, took a little bit to get my head around. That's a more accurate way of putting it. Uh, it took me a while to get get my head around Fusion 360, but once I did, man, I'm I'm not looking back. That's that's the way to go right there. Yeah, it, that's uh. Once, once you figure out the, the fusion way of doing things, then yeah, I think you're better off. Yeah, the, the Dow of 360. Yeah, once once you get that through your through your head, then you're doing fairly well. Yeah, because I can. So if I print this and it's like, oh well, this measurement was wrong, or mm -hmm. I needed a bit more allowance for actually 3D 3D printing something, then I can just tweak it. And, mm -hmm. Print it again. Yep. No, 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 no. Why did I think I could just grab the right one blindly? Don't do that. I mean, I'm good sometimes, but not, not, not all the times. That's pretty good. Is that, yeah, that's, that'll work. Nope, wrong one. Nope, yes. There we go. Now I have to think about how I'm going to make the next component and have it relate to the current component. Um, there supposedly is ways of like doing the hinges and stuff like that and, and have it do the thing i have not figured out that much of oh, it's, 360. It's, so i've done it a little bit it's not that bad um when you get your other part well okay so first of all you know what you could do is make it because i i need something that is like this but upside down and then mm -hmm. stuck yep. in there i, I guess mean, what... i could just draw another part elsewhere and then move it but oh well so what i was going to suggest actually is make the general outline right but don't worry about slicing it and then just use a uh, subtract to subtract the one from the other and then it's then you know well it's it's, it's not there's allowance that ha has to be in there too so it's not well, like this is three millimeter here mm -hmm. but this gap is actually three millimeter plus uh, allowance amount sure yeah yeah well but that would get you like the basics and then all you'd have to do is shrink in the other one or yeah shrink it in to yeah give you, um... to give you a little slop but you know if you know, if, if you want to do it you know whatever whatever gets you there basically is what i'm saying right yeah but that's that's how I would do it. But I'm yeah lazy. yeah. There's there's a number of ways of doing it. Is the different the the way I want to do it. <laughs> oh yeah 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 yeah. That's that's the thing.
and a lot of that is just sitting here and staring at it while I move it around and think about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, at first I thought you were going to clip the leads before you actually soldered it, and it was... Oh, no. Uh -huh. Having, having nerv nervous ticks, but now I realize what you're doing is you're... Kind of... Using... The hemostats which to is still of... not Which still is still not great. Um, I would have probably bent them a little tighter, and then... Well, these, like, just don't have very much clearance at all. Like, it's... Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm bending them... Pretty damn close, I mean. Yeah, I mean, you could bend it a little tighter uh, before you put it into the board. Because pulling on the leads like that can damage the components. Right. Okay, let me see. Let me try it. Ask me how I know. You've, you've, you've pulled them in damaged components? Yeah. Yeah. The other thing I have to think about, uh, oh, you know what, that did work a lot better. Sorry, the other thing you have to think about is how I'm going to design the next part of the component because so this piece is easy because it just screws onto a quarter 20 screw, right? Um, the next part, the camera has a quarter 20 hole in it, so I have to figure out a way of embedding uh, a nut in it. But that nut is going to be in line with all of this. I have a way to do it. I don't know if you're going to like it, but it's a way. You could use the same insert and then just get a quarter 20, like, you know, basically chop the head off a quarter 20 that's twice as long as you need, you know, screw it in, maybe some red Loctite or something like that. Yeah, I was actually just thinking about Loctite as might be an option. Yep. Although Loctite is actually... always an option. I don't actually have any Loctite, which is weird. Oh, that is weird. Why not? Uh, What's wrong? Are you okay? <laughs> uh, well, I've just not done a lot of things that have needed it. So. Oh, all right. Or... or... I've dealt with things that have had Loctite and it's been the bane of my existence. So therefore I just don't. No, well, that's fair. But, but for this, that would actually work well, or, you know, press my luck with, uh, uh, using super glue. Oh boy. I too like, but I, th I think Loctite, Loctite is the better option here. Yeah, but I have to order some. I've got some somewhere, but I do not know where. I mean, it, it's a thing I should probably just have. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, if you if you do feel like braving the outside world, AutoZone will have it. Or O'Reilly's. True. Something like that. I mean, but then again. I mean, it's always an adventure to see, like, you know, who's actually wearing masks or not. Like, mm. when I was at... Uh, I think it was at O'Reilly's and I don't think they were wearing masks at the time. How long ago was this? I was, yeah, I was, it was when I had to replace the battery on my truck. Mm. Um, I don't know if I had mentioned that to you or not. I know I, I had told the keen, but it sounds vaguely familiar I, I feel like you might have mentioned it but i'm not 100 percent sure it was right before the first night we uh i went to open the shop so that would have been probably a few weeks ago mm-hmm They've since come out with the announcement that, yeah, it's 
more or less mandatory that you should wear them outside. Right. But I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I've never actually seen like the exact verbiage of, of whether it was actually mandatory or strongly encouraged. So businesses can get in trouble. This is in Nevada uh, for anybody watching, but businesses can get in trouble. Uh, I don't think that individual people will. Okay. Like they strongly recommend it and businesses, if they don't do it, th then they can get their hand slapped somehow. Um, but I don't believe that it is mandatory for everyone. Like, I don't think you'll get a ticket for it. Okay. But businesses can refuse you service no matter what you saw on the flipping internet. Um, they absolutely yeah. can refuse you service. And the governor even was like, and you know, basically, and we'll pay your legal fees essentially. Okay. <laughs> he was like, he, he's giving legal protection to anyone that throws someone out for not wearing a mask. Well, which is well good. that's good. Yeah. I mean, it, I think businesses always have the right to refuse service. I yeah. Mean, there are certain things like, you know, I guess you. You have to allow for like ADA compliance type stuff. Oh, okay, but, fine. But if someone but, says I have an illness and I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it means I don't have to wear a shirt. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's the same thing. That, uh, I tell you, man, like, like that whole thing, like it reads exactly like those people that that like that you see on cops. Well, you used to see on cops that that say like. Oh no, officer! I don't have to have a driver's license because I'm a sovereign citizen. Like that. BS. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh huh. Sure. Okay, get in the car. No, the way I I I thought of it, at least for like how it applies to us. Like, if someone said, "Oh well, you know, it's you know, it it's unhealthy for me to, to you know not wear a mask." Mm -hmm. Or, or to, to to it's unhealthy to wear a mask, okay. which is bullshit. But it is. Um, if for some reason that was the case, then then it's unhealthy for you to also be in this facility on masks. So therefore, you know you shouldn't be in this facility. Absolutely, you should. You you need to leave for your own safety. Yeah, Get for out. your own safety. Yeah, you, know, yep. you should go the hell home. Yep. I, I I will never understand how how wearing a flipping mask has become a political thing. That's just that's just just silly. I mean it. Yeah, it does suck. It's not it's not a pleasant experience to to have to wear the mask for long periods of time. Yes, but just for the sake of your other human beings on this planet. Mm -hmm. Have the goddamn courtesy, right? To just wear it for a while, and you know, show that you know. Oh, hey, yeah, I care about your health, therefore I am going to wear this mask, mm -hmm. and expect you to do the same for me, right? And then we'll all get through this silly thing together, and eventually there'll be a cure, and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Versus, I I can't be bothered enough with with the human race to to put a piece of fabric on my face and yeah. cover my nose and mouth right. for an hour. Oh my god! Uh, this the freaking but world. That is that is, that is that is my my political rant for the, for the the evening. Welcome to my TED talk. No, that that was right, nice. Thank you, thank you for listening to my TED talk. No, 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 that was good. Like, I I was like, oh, yeah, look at this guy. No, no, I liked it quite a bit. I I never get to hear that from you. I liked it. Get in there. I'm trying to not use the hemostats, but man, you know, old habits and whatnot. I wonder... Um... Can I duplicate a component and then revert 
steps because essentially what I need is the opposite of this. Or I need the same thing. It's just the cuts are going to be different. Um, I feel like you're going to be working more than if you if you did the subtraction thing like I was talking about. I've been wrong before, but Well, see, I essentially need I need all of this, mm -hmm. but this bit's a little bit different. Right. Yeah. So if I can just duplicate the component, and then instead of doing these extensions, I do uh, different ones, or figure out a different way of doing the um, subtraction. But yeah, you could. If you rewound the history back to where you just made the thing, but before you did the notches, you could duplicate it there, and I think you should be able well, to... See, so, so the notches were done before the shape of all this. So if you see what is that sketch there... Oh, wait a minute. You don't have it preserving your history, do you? No idea. I don't it should see it. be. I don't see it at the bottom of the... You don't have a timeline at the bottom of your... Why don't I have a timeline? Uh, That's weird. I don't know. Why don't you have a timeline? I mean, I did do, like, Control-Z, and that worked, but... If you right... I think you right-click on the top level. I need to I need to embiggen you here. Let me see. Oh, it's because this is a new component I have selected. There's my timeline. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you should be able to rewind back to like... Or, I mean, honestly, you should be able to do it from right there, right? You can duplicate that part there if you're saying... Oh, wait a minute. Can you now? I thought I could. I thought I've done it before and then, and then broken it away. I just... It's been a minute since I've done that, so I forget mm -hmm. how I did that. It is a little finicky. Let me see. You should be able to copy it, and then you select the top level and then paste it there, I think. Like, the top level, top, like, tippy top, that guy. Yeah, and I think if you paste it there... Paste as new, probably. Yeah. Okay. And then. And then... So that one goes away. Wait, did you just get rid of it or you just moved it? No, no, that's uh, the one I didn't actually. Oh. Ah, got it. Okay. And then. This one I can reverse or, or edit a section in the timeline. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, you know what I should do here? Let me let me do this. I'm gonna wait for this to work. There we go. Thank you. I'm gonna put this back here, and I'm gonna select that, and then we're gonna go like that. Did it work? No. There. Yes. There we go. Now you are, uh, you are the captain now. Okay. Actually, I'm going to embiggen that a little bit. Where am I? No, I'm not. Wait, what did I just... Uh, that's wrong. Undo. That'll work. Cool. Uh, 
this guy is what I need. Should be 22, I think. Yep, 22k. <laughs> I know there's a better way of doing this. I'm doing it this way. <laughs> to the person that's like screaming at their uh, screen in the future, who's not in the chat, and you know. <laughs> I, I, I turned around. I've, I'm, uh, you know, I'm like, no comment. Like I know I can, I can do a uh, uh... subtract. No, no, no. Um, I know I can actually have like the component mirrored and and do all that, and but for like two features, I usually just dimension it for both. Man, I'm not judging. Okay, I'm judging a little bit, but just just like a little, a little tiny bit, just a little. That. Other than that, not judging. So I need one, two. There's got to be another twenty-two k on here somewhere. Maybe they're just in league with big 22K resistor. Okay, now I for real do not see another 22K on here. What the hell? Well, here, I'll keep putting them on and maybe, maybe it will present itself. Actually, I'm going to do this differently. Aha, found it. Sorry. It's a little loud. I saw yesterday, day before, they're going to turn Disco Elysium into a, a TV show. Okay. Have you played that um, game? You haven't played it? I have not played that game. Uh, so good. It's the first, like, RPG game, like, top-down RPG game that I've ever actually enjoyed. It's like, it's like, uh, uh, you know, old school, kind of like Maniac Mansion was, you know, where you click on the okay. thing, I want to do a thing with the thing, you know, and I have my inventory, so I'll use inventory on the thing. Uh, yeah. And it's almost entirely text-based, but it's got such a good flipping story to it. The world building in that game is just incredible. All right, so those, those are the twenty-two Ks, and we are coming up right on two hours. Do you want Do you want to keep going, or do you want to? I mean, I'm currently drawing stuff, so. So you're good either way. I mean, we have five people in chat, supposedly, or five people watching. One of them's me, so four. Yeah, I don't know if one of them is me or not. 
I mean, I'm in the stream manager. Oh, wait, I see four now. Well, it goes back and forth between five and four is what I've been saying. But... Ah, okay. Well, there's a question then. Would anybody like to see us keep going? Oh, it probably hasn't gotten to them yet. Lag and whatnot. So what I'm doing is I'm went back to my original part and I had three things that was extruding. Um, so I created places for the other two fingers mm -hmm. and what i'll do is on the copy i will change that extrude operation so i'm actually extruding uh the other uh two versus so essentially the opposite um that may mess up because i have a sketch based on one of those extrusions, but we'll see. I know how I would do it, but you know, your mileage may vary. See dealer for details. Well, see, the way you would do it, mm -hmm. I would have had to change the order that I've actually did, did the things. Because you are you would do cuts of this whole thing extruded. But well, what I, I would extruded do... first and then, then made the shape. Well, sort of. What I would do is take a duplicate of the piece that you already have and select, like, uh, I don't have a way to point at it to you uh but the inside face of the leftmost tab i would take that and extrude it out over everything else right so that it basically subtracts those and makes just a solid piece right this is on this on the second one right and then i would take the far side where you got your mouse pointer uh well sorry that's my mouse pointer i would take the far side of that where you have your mouse pointer now and i would push that out to whatever thickness I wanted the outside tab on there, if I even did, unless you just want the two in the middle. I'm talking for like five tabs. Anyway, then I would take that, flip it over so that the holes all lined up, and then do a subtract, right? And then that would leave me, oh, you know what? Nope, nope, I'm sorry, disregard. Yeah. That, would, that would totally screw me up because then I would have a negative of it, um, in the parts that I'm getting rid of anyway, but that's more a pain in the dick to get rid of. So different. yeah, so I would have had to um, make this like one giant rectangle essentially. And that's what I was. Yeah, that was the shape. Mm -hmm. And then I have one operation that does cuts these two trenches in, and then I have another operation that cuts three trenches in essentially. Right. Yeah, leaving these two. Yeah, no disregard, but, especially with the the fillet. But this is, is also there's also a different width because this is this is three millimeter. This is three point. Yeah, one, essentially. So right, I hadn't gotten to the point where where we fixed that yet because what you would have been left with is either two or five tabs depending on how far out you went, and then you could just take those and smush them in to whatever degree you you know to bring it to into a better accuracy. But since you're going to be subtracting a curve from a flat thing, you're going to end up with a pointy thing in the middle. And you can get rid of it, but it's a pain in the dick to do it. So mm -hmm. so what you're doing is, is the right way to do it. Or, you know, is a less complicated it's... way than what I was saying. Anyway. <laughs> yeah.
It's a way. All right. So now, how do I rotate this? Yeah, I think I think I'm done for now. I'm just gonna hang out in the chat here for a little bit, but I'm gonna. I'm going to consider this a, a decent place to stop. I actually got further than I had planned to tonight, so I'm feeling feeling all right. Turn that mess off. I'll leave that mess on. Should I turn this off? Is that going to mess everything up? I don't up? know. No. So I'm just going to be your peanut gallery here for a little bit. Throw things at you from right. time to time. All right. So what I'm going to do is In theory, that worked. Cool. Now I just have to fix the other component. <laughs> Did that work? Yeah, so I rotated it, and then it asked me the axis, and I selected that. Yeah. And it did it. So now I have to you know, modify this component so it's the opposite. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you were yeah. saying that you already did that part. I was like, wait a minute. No, I just I just needed to. All right, so now. See, uh -huh. that was the thing. Look at this guy. That was very clever. Oh. I still have to do the... Of course, it's complaining at me, because that face. Huh. Let's see. What's the warning? Sketch point is lost. Oh, where you drew the sketch originally, the surface that that was right. on. Yeah. I mean, it's just a warning. It's not going to, I don't think it's going to screw anything up. Yeah, but you, in the end, you want it to not have the warning. That's true. Like, if I can move it to that. Uh, you know what you yeah, what I'd, want to, uh, what I'd want to do is take and redefine this sketch so it uses this plane. Yeah. On 
unsure how to do that. I wonder what, would it, what it would do is if you just extruded the top corners through the stuff to, to, you know, to cut the curvy bit. I wonder if that would give it enough grounding to stop crying. Eh, probably not. Uh... I think you want to edit the sketch. Uh, oh, redefine the sketch plan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh. There we go. And then. Oops. Review warning. Ah, edge reference lost. Okay. Um, edit feature. And I think I used three millimeter. Well, good stuff, There crying. we go. Yeah. He's not the bad. Turn off sketches. And turn off origins. I think we're good. Yay! So what's my total height? Fifty-eight millimeters. Plus, there'll be a bit more because you have the uh, hardware and washers and the hardware and on the top and bottom. But yeah, I think that will actually work. Nice. All right. Okay, so there's there's the my good stopping point. I, I have actually something that I could try three D printing and. Okay. Uh, where where did you end up on your project? So I got the uh, I got the 200 Ks down, and I got the 22 Ks. Those were the ones with the like largest amount of uh, of resistors. So I got okay. those two. Uh, those are all down, and I got all my parts uh, present and accounted for, with the exception of one stinking capacitor. So I need to find okay. that one stinking capacitor at some point over the next you know week. Can I see change. your uh, soldered board since I was. Oh, I haven't soldered a thing. No, no, no. It's just oh. placed. Oh, just placed. Oh, no, okay. No, I just I placed. I thought you were soldering. No, I'm going to solder. So you, you, just, you just stuffed the board but didn't actually solder. That is board. a true statement, yes. Okay. I have some boards I, that I did solder. I mean, if you really want to. But I mean. No, yeah, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, okay. But uh, yeah, so I, I think next time, I, 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 in fact, I'm sure next week we can we can start soldering. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Let me... Yeah. And I'll I'll save it for next week too. I think the the this is a pretty good thing to go with. Let's see. Did it switch back to my video? You are on your video. Cool. Yay! Oh, as a matter of fact, here. Yeah, you know, I'll I'll just go ahead since uh I'll just do one of these. We, we, get, we do the fancy two shot. We got it. We got the fancy two shot. I yeah, I did like I li did like the uh, the put side by side videos here. -ish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I am having so much fun with the with the notepad meme, not meme, but like the the whole handwritten stuff. Like, I I, I mean, I I prefer grid paper versus note paper, but but since we're doing projects, number one, but and number two, <laughs> like just being able to make fake note paper in illustrator that was a that was a fun project i enjoyed that okay but i i get what you're saying grid paper I, I'm, I'm gonna re, i'm gonna request a grid paper as well 
Uh, oh, oh, I didn't show you this. Uh, I don't know if the sound is going to work. I want to show you one of the intermission ones that I did. All right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't have sound turned on on that, so, you know, flipping back to... <laughs> but uh, it says at the bottom, by the way, I'm getting really good at ripping paper, and that's basically a nod to the fact that all of the ripped paper look exactly the same. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, cool. Well, I think that'll probably about get it. Yeah. All right, yeah. so... Uh... Next show is uh what Friday show? Next show is we're the gonna Friday talk show? to uh, Ugly Man. We're gonna talk to Ugly Man. We're gonna find out about the secret. No one asked in the chat, so so if you want to find out about the secret, you're gonna have to wait until Friday show. Um, and this will be sh are, are we gonna let's talk, let's talk later about whether or not we put this up on on YouTube. Maybe we should. I mean, I think we should. We should. Yeah. Okay. Split it in half, or or just the whole thing at once. Uh, Put the whole thing. Maybe. All right. I mean, people do put like, you know, multi hour things on YouTube. It's fine. Yeah, that's true. All right. Yeah. It's their server. And it's so. less it's less work on your part. I like that. I like less work on my part. All right. Well cool. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna grab something to eat. And, uh, right. yeah, I guess we will, uh, see all, all of you lovely people, uh, this coming Friday, 7.30, hopefully a good announcement, possibly a bad announcement. Either way, it will be an entertaining announcement that I can, that I can assure you. Uh, right. yeah. So synshop.org for more information about the shop, you can see that right there. Uh, if you'd like to know about our upcoming, uh, events, go to meetup.com forward slash synshop. Uh, and also there you can uh, see when we're having open houses if you want to come by and check out the place if you are in the Las Vegas Valley area. So yeah, mm -hmm. I, I guess uh, until next week, I'm the Mighty Paul. See everyone tomorrow? Uh, yep. uh, or not tomorrow, Friday. Yep. I'm Crux. He's Crux. And we'll see you uh, next uh, next Friday. Have a great week. I didn't, I didn't see any, oh, yeah, your, the hang tag thing, the, the string bit, yeah. I mean, I mean, you could animate it so it, like, flips over. That, that seems a lot of work, though.